I've made over 100 videos now, with a good amount of them analysing and breaking down the cinematography of a movie, but how do I go about doing that? Well, in today's video, I take a look at how I choose a film to break down, the notes I take, as well as the research I do into the film as a whole. So first of all, we need to actually look at how I decide on a film to watch and analyse. Now I have a watch list of hundreds of films that I will get to at some point in my life, however most of the time I find something on Netflix, Prime or Mubi and decide on the spot. Sometimes it's a fun movie like Satan Tango where I won't need to think about much when I'm analysing it, but sometimes I'm sitting down for Morbius and I have to get notebooks, my audio recorder and director's commentary in order to fully enjoy it. But let's go on to Mubi for example. Today, the 2nd of July, has The Endless Summer as the film of the day, and that looks quite interesting to me, so I'll add it to the watch list. However, I'm more likely going to watch something like Vendetta today or The Childhood of a Leader as that's what I'm more in the mood for. You see, it really depends on what I'm feeling for the day. Some days it will be something fun like Jackass and then there are days where I want nothing more than a classic link later. Or maybe I'm looking towards Iraqi. Sometimes it's a comfort film and sometimes I'm looking to learn something. I mean, you do learn something whatever you watch, even if it's what not to do. However, when it comes to choosing films for this channel, I go straight to Letterboxd and look at the most popular movies of all time or this week, then find one that I haven't already done that is the most visually interesting and go from there, or I just scroll through the comments. Now, this might sound weird, but I actually don't do any notes taking whilst I'm watching a film. When I watch something, I like to be completely engaged with the movie, and I try as hard as I can to not think about how they shot a scene, as hard as that is. Instead, after watching, I like to try and scramble as many notes down as possible about my favourite scenes so that I can go back at a later date and properly go through without disturbing what the filmmakers were intending, if that makes any sense. Then, if it's a really thought-provoking provoking film, over the following days I'll read up on it when I have the time so I can have a general understanding of what went into the visual side, and that's when the research aspect comes in. So this really depends on what film I watched. Sometimes there will be really in-depth articles to read where they talk about theories I never would have thought existed, and then sometimes the only thing you can find about the film is the fact that it exists. Now, I tend to read more about the film as a whole as opposed to just about the cinematography, if I can't find an article that is written by or quoting the cinematographer. For example, whenever I watch a film shot by Deakins, I can just go to his site and there's a really good chance that he has a really in-depth page covering everything about the cinematography, or sometimes the ASC or BSC has a really in-depth article where they've talked to the cinematographer and I can truly understand their thought process and not just read what someone else interprets it as. Now, when it comes to making these videos, you'll note that I pretty much only ever use sources where the cinematographer was involved, and that I try to not interpret anything, as people use techniques for a multitude of reasons, and whilst I list those reasons and think it's important to talk about them, I don't state them as fact. But what else is a solid source? Well, American Cinematographer is an incredible one that dates back decades, British Cinematographer is another one that's a bit more recent, Criterion has some really solid articles and whilst they aren't usually about the cinematography, they are very helpful regarding themes. And then you also have the websites of cinematographers, notably Roger Deakins and Steve Yedlin, and these are just a mountain of free information. Apologies that this and the past few videos have been a bit shorter than usual, I'm currently away but I didn't want to just not upload, and this was a video that I've been recommended to make for a while now. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, not just if you did, if you have a recommendation for an analysis, leave them down below, thanks so much for watching and maybe I'll see you next time, bye!